Hey, Coach, uh, what did you think about your pitching tonight, in particular, uh, uh, Paulette and Bolden? And it uh, seems like, uh, uh, you know, from a strikeout perspective and, and hits, it was just a really good all-around performance for you. Well, that came out, uh, did about as good as he could do, honestly. Um, I think the first breaking ball he threw was probably the best one he threw, and it was – so they knew he had it. And uh, dropping in for a strike, and then obviously the fastball sitting in the mid-90s for – I think the first couple innings for sure. And gave us two quick innings. Uh, obviously, their starter gave them two quick innings. He kind of get a sense that it was going to come down to a big hit or maybe a mistake. And uh, But uh, Paulette, he did a tremendous job for us. He's coming out, throwing strikes, and getting us in the dugout. Nate? How big was it for Monk as far as having a rough outing last night to come in and get the job done tonight? I think it was big for him. You know, his stuff last night was good. Uh, they just kind of attacked him with two strikes. He One was a pitch that was down, and they went down and got it and got a hit, and the other one, the pitch was up. The guy kind of got on top of it. It did a great job of hitting. Uh, so, we, you know, we wanted to show him a little confidence. We felt like he'd have been the guy that come in and get a couple ground balls, which he did. One, one got through the hole, one went to short. Um, but that was good for him and kind of got us finished through that inning so we could start Bolden. In a, in a fresh inning and uh, not bring him in with runners on. That's what we wanted to do. And what about Slavin and his, his performance? Well, I mean, you know, Brady, that I think when we scored maybe in the fourth, that whole inning started with two outs. Um, I think we had maybe there was a walk and a, a base hit, or I don't remember exactly, honestly. And then, uh, you know, Slavin's hit one through that four, three hole to give us a one to nothing lead. And then, you know, the, the home run that uh, kind of broke the game open, the three-run homer, again, with two outs. Um, he had just gotten a big out. The pitcher had just gotten a big out. And then Slavens took the first pitch. It was either a changeup or a cutter, and it was just a little low. And it was good to see him take that pitch, and he tried to sneak a fastball by him, and, and he got every bit of it. Hutch. Dave, what did you see out of, of Bolden tonight, and how big was it for him to, to finish it off there to save the rest of your bullpen for tomorrow? Well, what I saw was a really good pitcher. I um, mean, he was in and out with that fastball. He was busting him in and, you know, he's throwing the ball anywhere. I, I might have saw – I don't look up all the time. Just every now and then I want to see what's going on. I think I saw a 92, maybe a 93 once or twice. Uh, fastball moves and runs. He had a really good slider tonight. Threw a few change-ups. There were a couple of times that we felt like we would have just liked to see maybe – uh, a little more con him pitch to contact and end up getting deep into counts. And, uh, but his stuff was good. Uh, you know, he, he did everything we wanted him to do. I mean, obviously, you know, we've thought about starting him and he was probably one that, you know, that got left out to start and he handled it real well and his starts coming. Bob. Uh, Dave, uh, just how, you talk about a crazy game. You go from nine runs one night to zero the next. I mean, what would you say about that? Well, I'd say our pitching was a lot better today, number one. Um, you know, we didn't walk people and hit people. I think we maybe hit one or – we hit the same guy twice, but uh, I think we hit him three times, actually, come to think of it. But, you know, both times or three times that we hit him, I think there might have been two outs. Nothing really happened. But we just pitched well. We pitched ahead in the count and – you know, kept them off balance a little bit. We didn't give them give him the beginning, obviously. We didn't give him anything. Kendall. Uh, Coach, uh, I know you've been pretty excited about Peyton since he showed up to campus, but uh, can you just discuss just kind of his maturity? I think it was there, what, in the, was it the third inning? They get uh, bases loaded with one out, and he, he finds a way to work out of that jam. And sometimes a young pitcher would struggle in that situation, but he stepped up. He did, you know, uh, Coach Hobb took him out and visit there and probably just said, hey, you want to work out the stretch here? You want to go out of the wind up? It's your choice. And, uh, you know, he'd been out of the stretch for a couple hitters in a row, decided to go out of the wind up. And, and then, uh, you know, I think he got a strike out, a fly out, and got in the dugout. And, you know, once you once you do that once, usually you find a way how to do that again and uh, build some confidence there. So that was, that was the inning that he had to get through, and he did it. Thanks. All right, let me know if you've got more questions in the chat. Matt? 
you said you thought Bolden start is coming. You, you're going to have four games next week. Do you think he might factor into the rotation uh, next week for you, Caleb? Yeah. Yeah, there's a real good chance. So, you know, here it is Sunday night and we play Thursday through Sunday. So, you know, he has time to recover and, and get out there. So, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, we get a couple of days off. One's going to be a travel day and then we play four days in a row. So definitely going to stretch our pitching staff. And uh, it's just good to see him go out and do what he did. So uh, makes it easy to get him, to put him out there and start him. Bob. Dave, I know Arkansas has been in the SEC forever, but you're an old Southwest Conference guy. How, how much fun is it to beat Texas? You know, I don't get all wound up about it, honestly. It's just another game to me. Uh, you know, we got to – you know, there's two other teams from the Western Division here right now that are every bit as good as we are, and we got our hands full with league play. So, uh, it's, it's always good to win games against, you know, well-known teams, especially early in the season uh, because – you know, everybody knows them. And uh, I have a lot of respect for their program, what they've done over the last 75 years, honestly. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's hard to say it's just another win because maybe uh, some, you know, of our fans are, you know, love it when, when we beat Texas and anything. Uh, but to me, it's uh, just a good win for our program. Kendall. Good. Touch. Dave, you've talked a lot about how you've got like seven or eight different guys that could be starters. Could tonight kind of be a trend in how you got a, a starter who gives you a four or five and then you bring another guy in that finishes it off four or five innings as well? Could this be a trend throughout the year? Well, I mean, we call it bridging. You know, we're just – if one guy can go give us four to five, the next guy can give us another four, and we can finish the game, that's great. Um, you know, you're going to use three pitchers just about every game out anyway. So – uh, yeah, I mean, we, we plan on doing this some, um, it, but then it, then it just depends if, if some guys really take off and, and take those jobs and they build their pitch counts up a little bit and then give us six, seven, eight, eight innings before the, before the season ends. Trey Schapp. Coach, this might be a tough question. I know it's only two games in, but what have you learned about your baseball team through these two games? Well, you know, I learned a lot about the team last night, but I kind of knew it. They're scrappy. Uh, they're going to play you for 27 outs. I said that last night. Uh, you know, they, they like each other a little bit. It's fun to, to be around these guys because they, they're pretty close. Really, for, for what we've been through, this COVID thing and separate locker rooms, and, and we had guys all over Bomb Stadium just we'd meet on the field. And, you know, you lose a little bit of that camaraderie, and, and these guys have done a good job of, of – uh, at least showing and that they care about each other. And it's fun. It's been, you know, we talk about it all the time in the coaching office. So uh, they're, they're tough. Tom. Hey, Dave, who would you like to pitch behind Lockhart tomorrow if you get a chance to throw him in? Also, how long do you expect Goodhart to be out? Well, as far as Lockhart tomorrow, I mean, he'll pitch in, until it's time to take him out or he hits his pitch count. Uh, you know, we've got three or four guys out there that are that are ready to go. I, I really don't want to mention any names, but we're just going to do what we have to do to win the game. And if a matchup is something that's already pitched in the first two games, that's who we're going to put out there if they're available. If not, you know, we'll go with the, with the new arm. I mean, Wiggins is a guy that jumps out to me just a little bit that we want to get him on the mound before we leave here, if, if at all possible. But if it doesn't work out that way, then we'll probably give him the ball one of these four games coming up. And, and then on Goodhart? Yeah, I mean, we don't know yet. Uh, when we get back on, on Tuesday, I know that he's, he's, he's going to see a, I don't know, a doctor, and they're trying to work on some things. But I don't know all the details right now. And uh, you know, I just want him to feel better. Uh, obviously, we miss him in our lineup, one of our best hitters. But uh, he's got he's to be healthy and have the right mindset where he can concentrate on the game. Kendall? You're muted, Kendall. Sorry about that. It's loud behind me. Uh, Coach, you're going you're gonna to kill me for asking this question, but when I, when I watch Paletti, he kind of reminds me a little bit actions-wise and like body-wise of, of Walker Bueller. I know you faced him uh, as a coach. Do you, do you kind of see that a little bit, just kind of his body style and his approach? That's, that's probably a pretty good call. You know, I had the opportunity to have Bueller on uh, my team with, you know, our team with USA when I was managing it. And uh, he was a little bit of an unknown. And I can remember when he threw this first bullpen, 
uh, I remember Coach Childers, who was our pitching coach, made the comment, this guy's special. Uh, it didn't take too long, but, you know, you know, not quite as big, but uh, the same type of arm speed as he continues to gain experience. And, uh, but yeah, there, there's a lot of the same mannerisms. That, that's, that's a good read. Matt. Slavin's had big numbers in junior college last year. Sometimes that doesn't translate. What have you seen from him since he got to campus? And, and then tonight, both of those hits came with two outs when Texas was close to maybe getting out of some innings. Uh, just wonder if you can talk about how big those were for you. Well, obviously, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of good things from him since he arrived on campus in the fall. I mean, he, you know, he's had his ups and downs like everybody did. You know, a lot of guys didn't play a lot of ball. He had the opportunity to play a little bit of summer ball out, out east and, uh, yeah, he's came in. He had to. He's trying to earn earn a job, whether it was a third or second or first or outfield or whatever, and probably didn't know what to think a little bit. But uh, always, always swings the bat well. He competes, and uh, he didn't get cheated if he gets a good pitch. And um, you know that's what you saw tonight. He, he got him a good pitch. He didn't get cheated, and he hit it about as hard as you can hit it. Last one, Bob. Dave, just I assume you watched, you know, TCU play. Just wonder what your thoughts are on them or your expectations for that game. It's really solid. You know, they, they don't make very many mistakes and they like to move runners around a little bit. Um, they like to hit and run and bunt and kind of, you know, push the button, so to speak, and then put some pressure on you. Um, you know, we're going to see a good lefty tomorrow. So uh, I don't know. You know, we'll just go out and play and see how it goes. Thanks, Dave.